See, that'll ruin the paint job. I pledge allegiance to the plague of the United States of Antarctica and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under Satan, uh, invisible with no liberty and there's no justice for y'all. This world is filled with inconveniences my world is convenient. There's no stalkings. There's no stalkers, stalkings, just kings. I understand every moment of my life is recorded one way or another. Whether it's people who hire me, surveil and listen, or just the world leaders, planet runners. So I guess my theory is confirmed how huh? it really is a clone. I didn't believe in clones at one point, but now they're like the greys with no brain. They don't, they, have, they don't have a brain because it's not like the Tin Man. I mean, technically it is, but it's it's in order for the people that die or get body transferred over or soul transfer, their head, their brain, because the brains apparently can live forever if you have it in the right fluid. Uh, and the people that have already done that communicate through my channel, YouTube. So technically it's like you guys have already died and separated from your original body, and then your brain is in that that gray uh, alien type of clone that's just sitting on the meat hook. Not literally, but over there near the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, Brian Lunsford, don't you live over there by the Gulf of Mexico? You were talking about that too, those clones. I was sort of, you know, thinking about it, like, I don't know, I mean, it's not too sure, but you seem pretty damn confident that you do know. So, yep. Clones. That are made with bodies that are basically, you can't destroy them. See, it's a lot better. When it's clean, there's no speckles on the ground, no booger marks. So if I was to pick two bears, oh, one would look like a wolf, you'd look like a wolf dog. You would have the wolf dog looking face. But on the inside, you know, technically be a bug. And, um, everybody wants to rule the world. And so when Jonathan Click shows that bear, and when Steve Noon talks about Russia a lot, and Russia symbolizes the bear and there's two bears that come out and basically de they devour the you know their children the 42 that they hired the father of those serpents that are not going to escape the damnation of hell because you their children have tried your hardest to alter me. And, um, you know, it, it, you did a good job in the beginning. 
but now it's over. Mama bear, papa bear, they're coming after your ass. And so you did a video the same day at the exact time. You know, I think it was like 32 minutes and 43 seconds, 42 seconds. I'm always amazed at that because I look at like, well, there's no split. Well, there was one split in the video, but it just precisely went right to that same exact time to confirm certain things that I was saying in that video driving to work about the clone setup and the uh, the horsemen that stand on their two hind legs and they uh, you know they have the face of a man they have hair like women it stings in their tails and their tails drew a third part of the stars from heaven. You know why they drew the third part? The tail? Because of the tail. The tail is what drew the third part of them. The serpent beguiled Eve. The tail. And Adam did eat of, the, of her fruit. The tail. Follow me. Hey Eve. Would you like a mate? Would you like your own husband? You don't need a man. I can get you one. Follow me. Follow my tail. You know how the beast rise up from the sea? And Brian Hall, y'all, he, he does that thing where he rises up as if he was leaning down in the next scene. So the ones that are above, they're in the stars. They're up, up in the sky. They're in their pods up there, right? And then the, uh, the ones from below are actually in the sea. So you have submarines or something underwater. You guys are rising up from the sea. It's not like I haven't been wanting to go on the computer and show the things I'm talking about, but my landlord's coming over today to take a look at the house and I wanted to have at least the one room finished with the floor and being painted and the walls and everything. So I've been basically working 18 hours a day. Come here and then go home and do that. So, Satan is For a thousand years, thousand, the number means complete, just like it comes with ten thousands of thousands upon the saint. He was in prison. He was captivated. He was captured. And reigning with Christ for a thousand years is the timeline when Satan is in his prison. When he's loose, he's gonna go, <clears throat> he's gonna come out of his prison because he's loose from him and his angels. They're free. They're gonna come out and deceive everybody who still believes in the system that's part of it and hasn't turned yet. Captivated, captured, thousand year reign with Christ right now. As soon as he's done, coming up shortly, deception of all nations. Those 42 get mauled by those two bears coming up. When I was in school, uh, I didn't go to school a lot because I didn't like being there. But when I was in first grade, I remember that national anthem come on. And as soon as it said one nation under God, I took my hand off my heart. I didn't like that. Because I felt like we were, I felt like it just meant that we're underneath the Satan. And I was right. I don't even know where my religious beliefs came from because I don't remember 
just studying anything. I just remember feeling that spiritual awareness that number one, I'm being surveilled all the time, but not by just evil, evil people, by good angels. I've, I felt that way as a child from the time I can remember. How crazy would that feel where you died and then three days later, you wake up, you're in a completely brand new immortal, or is it mortal? Undestructible, perfect, resurrected body. Some of you guys have already experienced that. How literal things are that I didn't think from before. Just life and death, how it's connected, where the people that died are actually alive. They're actually alive right now in another realm. It, like listening in, watching YouTube videos. Our relatives, people we know. But what do they look like? Are they gonna have the similar, similar body, similar face, similar structure? Or is it all the same? Everybody's gonna be the same. These must be the things that Andrea knew. I bet you. Bet you I'm right. That's why some people, they literally have no fear of death because they already know what's on the other side. They've already experienced it. They're living it now. They're in their new bodies. So to know for a fact what happens when you die, when you leave this flesh body, must be a comforting feeling. And then to have faith to know that that's true is just as good. Don't fear man who can kill the body. Fear him who can destroy your soul and body at the judgment seat. Fear the, the bear, you know, because it's like, you gonna not, you see a bear, what are you gonna do? Act like he's not there, or you're gonna shit your pants. Well, there's 42. I mean, it, rem it reminds me of 450 false prophets, but it says 42, because for those 42 months, those of you that have the power to act and pretend, but have went in the other opposite direction, because you're, you're the seed of your father, the ones that killed the prophets. And you're not going to escape the damnation of hell, you guys. First person I want to see up in heaven is my pop. Can't wait to reminisce with your dad, my dad. I always called you my pop, dad. My brothers, they would call you daddy. And they still have an issue with calling my mom, mommy, because that's how we were uh, brought up. Like children that never grew up. Mommy and daddy. So the first beast that has, it looks like a, what is it? A, what is it, face of a lion? It's like a, or like a lion, yeah, there you go. Like a lion. Face of a man. Had two wings like an eagle. So the lion, which represents, you know, 100% no lion. Turn it upside down, nylon. And then two wings like an eagle. So the Philadelphia Eagles, Philadelphia landscape, Big Ben, West Texas landscape, Jonathan Clegg. Philadelphia Art Museum, the face right there, getting eaten by the serpent. And then the serpent, the other dragon, dragon bear, wolf, wolf man, <laughs> wolf doll. Uh, Steve Anu looks like that, he has that, that look. And that's the whole point, things are supposed to be tied together. 
similarity. Now, is it a twin system? Is it male, female? Is it Adam and Eve? Is it, is it Cain and Abel? The children that they had? You know it's an inconvenience, and I don't appreciate it. YouTube just keeps deciding to, to shut off my when I'm trying to listen to something. It just shuts it down, and it's inconvenient. And I don't like it. But I'll deal with it, because it's free music. So May 21st, coming up Saturday. May 22nd, Sunday. You know how many predictions I've made about that day? Nothing came true. I mean, except for the, the Wooder River that stayed still for that 8.48 a.m. Barack Obama, John DeClec, showing me that in that day, 2020. But, uh, you know, that five-month period, I've always looked at it as May 21st, it's October 21st, but what year? Is this the year? Is there gonna be a great earthquake? You know, I'm gonna ask questions instead of make predictions. Is this the year that the earthquake is gonna happen in Philadelphia? May 22nd in the morning, like 5.55 or, or 8.48 a.m. On the 22nd of May, 5.22, Job 5.22. Is it gonna split right down the middle? of Benjamin, Big Benjamin Franklin Parkway? Or is it gonna be an asteroid or something that comes and hits the bank? Or it hits, uh, it hits William Penn, the Pentagon, the William Penn will be gone. I mean, either way, Job 522, If people actually died from in instant contact with an asteroid, then they go straight to heaven, don't they? Or do they go to hell? Depending on how they live their life. I guess we'll see. Because that five month period, those scorpions that rise up from the pit underneath of us, under the, uh, the real ones, Underground, not the ones that the ones that are still deceived, the ones that deceive them. Uh, the scorpions, stinging men for five months means something takes place. The truth is known, and those men are screwed because they believe something else, and it's like a sting. Just knowing the truth, just getting stung for the next five months with non-stop YouTube video evidence, proof. There's this man in our face and it's the only manna that we have to eat. Stinging men. You know, I don't have a problem calling somebody my Lord. Daniel did it in the Bible. And on top of that, we have landlords. Like they, they are actually, are, we call them lords, in a sense, landlord. Like my landlord that's coming over today to take a look at the, the floor. I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will, like the colors, the colors of the walls. Because it really makes a big difference in a house. It's amazing. Just colors. Gives you that comfortable feeling. Ugly colors, dirt. Not so much. But yeah, my lord. The aliens are gonna tell us that they are our creators. And they're gonna have a damn good case. Especially when they can destroy your soul and body. But the only thing is, oh and, they could even take partial credit for your spirit. Like my spirit, the one that rose up from the dead, from among the dead. But that was something that was done in response to the creation of disgust in the world. 
And then that same spirit that they created in me took over their body, mind, and soul. So then you could say, well, I'm your creator then. If you created me, then in return, I created you. One hand washes the other AI. So the beast and the false prophet, they're in that lake of fire that burns forever and ever, the word of God. They've been burnt by it. When hell is resurrected, then what the hell are you waiting for? Get me out of here. I feel like I've just been sending out SOSs all the time. All the information I could possibly come up with is to free me from this hellhole of a world. Now, I'm not saying escape and leave and go somewhere else. I'm talking about... Because I've grown to, you know, like it here in Antarctica. I just prefer warmer weather in certain places on this earth. So Satan, um, because you've been reigning with Christ for a thousand years, I mean, you've been bound, you've been in prison, captivated, taken into captivity. Your time is almost up. You're getting ready to be released from your prison from underground, like literally, and uh, mentally too. So go out, I want you to deceive all the nations because they they believe that you're not gonna break the, uh, you know, like that covenant with them. They believe that things are gonna continue on. They believe that you're the same as you were from the beginning. She's a dragon, dragon tail. You know, dogs have tails, cats have tails, monkeys have tails. Everybody has tails except for us. Well, some of us. <laughs>